I just do it my hands. Huh? My name is Jim Norris. Joshua Finley. It's Mar Williams. It's Jesse Frazier. Vince Jeep. It's John Baxter. And I'm one of the conspirators and agitators at Cabal Enterprises. Custom illustrator, mural painter, and uh, musician. I am the owner, operator of Zeta Kai House. I paint on acrylic. Uh, I'm a graphic artist. I do digital painting as well. I do painting. I'm a pop artist from Inglewood, Colorado. I book shows. I manage bands, I uh, create events. I also am a purveyor of dreams, intoxication, and music at the Three Kings Tavern and Mutiny Information Cafe, a bookstore and a live music venue here in Denver. Cabal is my dream come true. Uh, Cabal is an arts collective. A group of weirdos that will Change the face of the Denver art scene. Uh, a lot of us do painting, um, and the idea is capturing that spirit of making in Denver and then having this really sweet little beacon on South South Broadway uh, where people can come and we're just trying to build up this neighborhood into something rad and artsy. So each of the artists has their own workspace. I have my office upstairs. Had an amazing opportunity fall in our laps to uh, have this space and be able to create and hang out and not only have studio space, but gallery space. The end result is a place for us to work and disseminate our own information outside of the mainstream. I think what distinguishes Cabal is I, I feel like I get to work with this dream team of Denver artists, like people who have been around in the scene for a long time doing amazing stuff. I got my start here in Denver in the late 80s, early 90s with a couple of friends doing a zine. So we kind of pulled together a bunch of artists, we pulled together writers, poets. So I kind of got to meet a lot of people in town through that and getting inspired by, you know, the power of the word, power of image. I'm constantly inspired by the people I'm around. I was at film school, Columbia and Chicago. Well, I've been drawing pictures and illustrating pretty much anything since I was a child. Um, been self-employed since I was 19. I worked in the film industry for seven years. Uh, so my background is in electronics. Doing manual labor my whole life and always thought there would be a better way to like be creative and one day I finally got the guts to do it and started painting. And getting people to uh, put together different types of backgrounds to create different things that they might not create otherwise. I think I'm kind of just a motivator or a conduit. That's kind of what I've approached in all the different projects I've done. It's talent. Maybe they need a little direction. Maybe they need a little coaching. Maybe they just need a spot where you know they can shine. Just fully inspirational people that you know, make me come up with great ideas, and I help them come up with great ideas and they make their living doing this. You know, this is something that it's not a hobby. You know, we're not 21 or 18 and living in a warehouse, sleeping in, you know, bed bug covered mattresses. Every single one here has a completely different style, but it all still flows very well together. And from day one, there has not been any kind of issue. There's not been any kind of strain. It just, we all just came together and just mashed up. And we're still, remarkably immature for our age. That friendship that you only get from, from doing that, you know, sharing sweat on the stage or sweat at the bar and doing these things. I think no one's really lost that punk rock ethos that we're gonna do our own thing, but we're not gonna work or live in squalor when our life depends on it. Share ideas and there's very little judgment or uh, pretension here. I mean, we're arms wide open, come listen to some good music, have some coffee, hang out. I sort of defer to Jim Norris, our uh, fearless leader in that, where he has a few businesses in Denver and he's like influenced this community ridiculously. Like Three Kings and Mutiny are staples. You know, a lot of musicians traditionally aren't treated with respect. A lot of artists are not treated with respect, you know, and I've always held them in the highest regard. The neighborhood is rich right now with marijuana, uh, rich with dispensaries, and I think we bring a new attitude. And now we're just stretching south and, and trying to take back, like there's so much uh, gentrification uh, in Denver now and the you know there's so many people moving here and rents are increasing and all this stuff 
And then I just feel like we have this awesome little holdout of like, no, we're gonna take this little stretch and we're gonna make it, you know, what, what Denver should be. We're bringing all the local businesses together around here. We've got Antique Row, we've got the Green Mile, we've got, you know, thrift stores and vintage stores and all this and they all are coming to us for art and art interest as we are sending our clientele there. There's these opportunities there for people to do what they do. Everybody gets to reap the benefits of it, you know, if I encourage a band or introduce a couple people together they end up doing a, a collaboration. It's going to be an entity. It's not only going to be like the four walls. What I'd like to be is like you end up being an all-encompassing spot. Probably another year's worth of different featured artists, our own stuff and getting things. We're going to look into uh, buying the whole block. Hi, my name's Lindsey Kuhn and I do screen printed art. I have a company called Swamp Enterprises and I do conspiracy skateboards also. Jim Norris uh, was, is an old friend of mine. He used to work at the, he used to run the Ogden Theater and that's how I met him, was doing posters with the Ogden and nobody in particular. And uh, he asked me immediately when he opened the gallery if I'd do a show here. And of course, I'd do the shows for friends. A festival needed to change their design, change their logo. Yeah, they can approach us, I have production crews, I can do the light. I mean, I can't, we'll be able to do anything. Taking over everything. Like, you know, we're having a great time doing this, you know. You can do it. All you gotta do is just do it. Probably just give Denver a kick in the pants. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not ready for the public eye yet. Benny! Throw it! <laughs>